So Keith, it was a real pleasure having you on our uh, camp last weekend and, and I wanted to show you the, your uh, video sequences and, and just overlay some of our uh, videos alongside it as well. So you came on the camp really looking to improve your swim in the triathlon by four minutes to be able to, to really make a difference at the over 60s uh, national championships. And so I'd like to just go back through the straight line swimming method. Breathing, position and propulsion. So let's first look at the breathing one. And when we watch that video of Kerry Ann, you can see her swimming through the water and there's that constant flow of bubbles. So as you turn your head in and breathe out straight away, in, breathe out, in, breathe out. Now by doing that, it means that the rest of her stroke is just so relaxed and constant. So that breathing sets the tone for the rest of the stroke. And she's taking in as much as she needs and no more. So let's watch your first video of you swimming. And let's first look at the breathing. And you can see underwater, yeah, you've got that constant breathing. So you're, you're breathing in, turning your head, and almost immediately uh, blowing out. So I would say that actually in terms of rhythm, and breathing, you've got that one uh, pretty well ticked off. So the next bit that we start looking at is body position. And again, you can see when you're swimming there, actually your head is looking directly down at the bottom of the pool, which is allowing your, your back and your hips in the water to be really well aligned. So in, t in terms of body position, actually your, your drag is actually quite um, minimal. So as we see Carrie Ann swimming through the water, she's got a very similar body profile as she swimming through the water. So her head is facing to the bottom of the pool, her hips, um, uh, uh, her hips are aligned with that. Now the difference with Carrie Ann is that because she's able to, to keep that good body position, she's actually able to rotate her spine, uh, rotate her body around that spine. And you can see those hips really opening up and it's the hips that allow that extra stretch at the front of the stroke to be able to stretch out a little bit longer and therefore um, apply more force to the water in terms of that propulsion. So let's, uh, so this is your video towards the end of our camp there. And at this point, we're really trying to think about that hip rotation and you can see actually in the, that water that as your hand is entering the water and you're turning to breathe, there is hip rotation. The exciting thing there is that as you start to, to really kind of develop that underarm pulling from the fingertip in terms of the propulsion, your hip rotation is really gonna, you're gonna be able to take advantage of that hip rotation. But there's no doubt that there's more hip rotation uh, in that um, video of you swimming than there was previously. The final bit is propulsion. And just coming up here, you can see a slow motion moment when Kerry Ann is, is really reaching out. So the key is reach out to the front, take advantage of that final uh, acceleration on the opposite arm, find the water, accelerate there through the water. Now she's not worrying too much about uh, applying pressure at the front of her stroke. It's taking advantage of the most, um, the strongest part of the stroke. So she's pulling from the fingertips, opening her armpit, and driving from the opposite hip. So let's look at you now. Now, you'll see that you're actually leading with your elbow, as they say. So it means that you're kind of pulling from your hand as opposed to your fingertips. So your elbow is not remaining high in the stroke. But what you are able to do is you've got a fantastic uh, platform from, from which to work from. I think if you were able to uh, accelerate your hand through the water, the moment is a, very much of a, is a constant. I'll give you the extreme version of this. So this is, the, this is when I was uh, really exaggerating that pull through the water. See how I stretch out, get the water, accelerate, accelerate, accelerate. So there's a real change in speed as I grab the water and throw it back behind me. So I think that as, uh, as you develop your swimming, as you look to improve, that idea that you're accelerating as you come through the water with your arms can make a real significant difference to you. 
So I'd like to just leave you with uh, some of that footage of me as uh, Ken was really cranking up the, uh, the machine to its full blast. Um, I'd like to thank you very much for your time, your patience, your curiosity. Uh, I hope you took uh, a great deal from the camp. Uh, thank you so much for your kind message as well. Very much appreciated. Um, but we'd love to be able to hear your um, developments, uh, especially how you get on at the uh, over 60s uh, age group uh, triathlon competition. And hopefully you'll be able to, to find those four minutes that you're looking for and, and be able to achieve the result that you so richly deserve uh, as a result of all that training. Um, thank you so much. Uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Uh, any questions, just please uh, fire them back towards us. Thanks very much.